Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this new episode of Sotorial Talks. Today, we're going to speak about suit coordination. And we're going to take an example, the blue suit. And I'm going to show you in this video how with only one blue suit, the same suit, three shirts and three ties. So you see, you don't have to have an enormous wardrobe, just one blue suit, three shirts and three ties that you can create different atmosphere and you can match to the different occasion in life, whether it is business, whether it is important business, whether it is, whether it is an important occasion like a wedding, a party. Anyway, I'm going to show you what you can do with only one blue suit, three shirts and three ties. So here I am. You see, it's magical. I have the blue suit right now. So just one word on this blue suit because it's going to accompany us during all this episode. It's a single breasted notch lapel mid blue suit that is one of the most versatile suits you can acquire, specifically if you start your tutorial journey. So this is my first proposal, which I call business as usual. I'm wearing a blue suit. A striped shirt, I don't know if you see it well on the camera, so I'm going to go a little bit closer, you see? It's slightly striped, and I'm wearing, on top of it, a striped tie. So, this is quite chic, this is quite elegant, as you can see, but it's business as usual. It's not too much, but it's not not enough. It is, for me, the quintessential uh, business outfit. Of course, my friends, it's an example. You can have hundreds of thousands of different examples. But what I want to show you here is that with only the three things, you can do a beautiful outfit. One rule that you learn here is that when you are wearing stripes on the shirt, on stripes with a tie, you use different scales. As you can see it, the stripes are very, very tiny and very thin on the shirt. And on the contrary, the stripes are quite bold on the tie. This is one of the rules that you must master as fast as you can. That is to say, if you want to mix the same pattern, if you want to use the same pattern on your shirt and on your tie, please use a different scale. Now we're going to jump to what I will call the important business. That is not business as usual, but you have an appointment, something that is really important for you, maybe with your boss, maybe with an important client, or for an important signature of a contract or something for your personal life. You have to dress according to the occasion, and that's what I call important business. And here we go. So do you notice the difference between the first one and this one? Same suit? As I said, only one blue suit, but I changed the shirt and I changed the tie. In the first tie, I was wearing stripes on stripes. Stripe is known to be a little bit less formal than solid colors and medallion. So this is my proposal for important business. You see, it's little details, but in my opinion, it makes a huge difference. And we're going to go now to something that you may appreciate better. You may use more, more and more time. It used to be the casual Friday in the USA. I know then more and more people decide not to wear a tie. And I'm going to show you how you can still make it elegant right now. So here I am again, as you just noticed. What did I do? I just removed the tie. And I unbuttoned, of course, the top button and the two other buttons so that it, it feels casual, but still very elegant. Same shirt. I advise you not to go too much to the white shirt with a blue suit because it feels a little bit awkward uh, when you wear a white shirt, which is immediately more formal. Go for a light blue shirt like that with uh, this blue suit. So this is, of course, the most uh, casual uh, setting I'm going to show you today. And you notice that I kept the pocket square. So this is a small advice. If you want to, uh, to surrender to this casual Friday uh, fashion, and I know this is very, very, very usual in the USA, uh, please, my friend, don't wear the same uniform as everybody and keep one elegant thing. That is this little thing here. That makes the whole difference. You know, if I remove it, look at that. All of a sudden, I look like everybody. But if I put it on, up, all of a sudden, it adds something very different. Now, we're going to move always with the same suit, uh, the blue suit. We're going to move to the other side of the spectrum. That is to say, how can I make this suit work for very special occasions? Here we go. 
And this is what I call my special occasion version of the same blue suit. So what did I change? Do you notice? Very simple. I changed the color of my shirt, white shirt. When you go to a special occasion, always bet on a white shirt. It's always a very safe bet. And the second thing I change is, of course, the tie. And uh, this is a solid tie. And this is something that you have to remember when you use solid colors. It's always more formal than striped or patterned ties. And on top of that, if you want to be formal with a blue suit, always use the same kind of color for your tie, solid tie. As you can see here, my tie is slightly darker than my suit, but it works perfectly well. I removed the pocket square and I just added a little lapel pin. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can add a pocket square. But what I wanted to show you in this video is that uh, the difference between before and now is absolutely evident. This is a much more formal attire. So now let's wrap it up. The first proposal was business as usual with a striped shirt and a striped tie. Remember, different scales. Huh? If you do stripe on stripe, use different scales. My second proposal was important business. So it was same blue suit, of course, with a solid sky blue shirt and a medallion um, pattern tie. Very, very chic, in my opinion. My third proposal was the business casual, where I just removed the tie, but I kept the pocket square. And I showed you how this small little piece of cloth can make a huge difference. So, uh, well, you will do, you do whatever you want, but I want you to be aware that this simple thing, which is so inexpensive to buy, can make a difference and um, make you step out of the crowd. And my fourth proposal was about important occasions, always with the same suit, and I went with a white shirt and with a solid blue tie, with the rule, which is important, that if you go to a special occasion, like a wedding, like a party, an engagement party, or something like an important business meeting at night uh, with your colleagues, for example, and you have to be more formal, uh, one rule is always pair your tie the same color or the same shade as your suit and go for a solid tie. In my case, I added a little lapel pin, but of course you don't have to do this. Uh, the rule is use the same color of your tie, solid tie, as your suit. What can we take away from this little video? First, you don't have to have uh, 152 suits to match to any occasions in life. I just showed you with one single suit, uh, you can be uh, business as usual, you can go into a important business occasion, you can be business casual, or you can also be at your ease in a more formal occasion, such as a party, a wedding, or whatever important moment in life. That's the first takeaway. You don't need to have so many suits to, to remain elegant. The second takeaway is maybe a little bit more technical, is that the stripes are always less formal than the geometrical medallion, which themselves are always less formal than a solid tie. You see? So stripes, if you want to be a little bit more relaxed and casual, then geometrical or medallion, I love medallion, they are very beautiful for more important occasions, and of course, plain solid ties for extremely important occasions. The third takeaway is if you have to invest into shirts, buy a striped shirt, blue, a sky blue shirt, and a white shirt. With these three kinds of shirts, I just showed you that you can really dress up to any kind of occasions in life. And the fourth and most important takeaway is that all this is only inspiration. I don't pretend to give you the ultimate truth about how to pair a tie with a shirt. I just share with you my 15 years experience of pairing ties with jackets and with shirts. And I hope this will help you in your tutorial journey. And if you like this series, please leave a comment in the comment section so that we may continue to uh, share with you our experience of how to pair shirts, ties, and suit in order for you to remain elegant in every occasion in life. I give you an appointment to the next episode of Sotorial Talks. Bye-bye, my friends. Take care.